Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna share with you golden oil analysis. During the previous time that I shared this, it was uh, one week ago. You can see that the topic was gold downside seems inevitable. And if we are going to look at the weekly chart that I explained on uh, that video, this was the movement that we were expecting. After this movement, the chances are higher that probably gold may move down further. However, we are not going to anticipate this movement so far. We have to be very careful for many reasons. I'm going to explain this during uh, the video. Before one hour, we had the CPI data from the US. They came out as expected for consumer price index, X food and energy. It was expected 4.1, it came out 4.1. During the previous month, it was 4.3. And consumer price index, it was 3.7. Expectation were 3.6. And as you can see, it was 3.7. So we have a slight increase in inflation here. And also on the monthly figures, we have uh, a small increase from 0.3 to 0.4 uh, above expectations but below from the previous uh, month however as you can see on the chart uh, the usd benefited from these numbers it was a bit confusing situation however let's see what may uh, happen also from a technical perspective during the previous time the price was near the bottom of the structure of the weekly and it bounced and came up close to 1880 however this was a bit let's say fast movement considering that uh, the majority of this movement was created because of the conflict from the war between uh, israel and palestine this is getting a very difficult situation for both countries the situation is not good at all and uh, it is escalating let's hope it will not get bigger so far and as you can see usually when we have this kind of uh, troubles in the market we can see that all the market is positioned on the bullish side for gold so for pressure for uh, precious metals and also for oil on this situation the problem with oil is that uh, we are talking about big uh, oil producers and that is why is also oil involved in this situation however from a technical perspective price already reached our area we have to be careful we may see any bearish movement but the focus is only on the war so far so if the war will, will escalate more between israel and palestine and probably if other countries are going to intervene so far this is going to make everything uh, more difficult and we may see gold even going higher again if we are going to look at this on a smaller time frame perspective everyone today is looking at uh, this structure resistance that probably we may see gold moving down from this area the technical chart is already supporting that movement and also on the four hour we can see this type of candle that is showing that the buyers and the sellers uh, have the same power because we have uh, the close between the middle of this candle many are expecting that probably we may see gold moving down because we have the resistance zone however we have to be very careful because the situation is not uh, clear yet the war didn't begin this is only the beginning so probably even if we have sellers or profit taking here it is likely that the price may move down let's say as a maximum that can happen because of the speculation that we have probably we may see the price coming down close to the structure zone 1865 as a maximum expectation and from this area we may see the price to bounce up again so let's be careful it's very risky to sell gold considering that uh, it is also considered a safe haven financial asset and i'm not expecting any deep bearish movement in this situation however one step at a time let's see what is going to happen on a daily chart the first reaction already happened 
so we should be careful also from long positions considering that the price is already reacting here it is showing that we have sellers on this area but it is likely that we can see also the price moving up to the top of this resistance line so if we are going to take in consideration uh, the current price development probably close to 1920 if this is going to happen it will come in line with the possible bigger price development it may we may see this type of pattern and in this way the bigger picture will transform in something like this here so this can be a possible bearish scenario however let's see what is going to happen during the coming hours because we cannot talk about the coming days we have to see if the situation with between the two countries israel and palestine is going to improve and i hope uh, it will happen then we may see big sell-off on oil and it may continue down further so we have to be very careful from the news events so far let's move on uh, the other chart that we have so this is for gold just to make this more clear this is one possible scenario and if we are going to see any improvement between the two countries and uh, with the conflict that is already happening we may see gold moving down from the current support uh, from the current resistance area let's move back on uh, oil analysis now since the previous time that i shared this analysis I pointed out several times that we are talking about a big manipulation in this area. I explained with details in this video here, a cheater's game about OPEC. If you are going to watch the video, you will see that after we share this analysis, price moved down. We had also an OPEC meeting at this point here it was close to 92 it was uh, held on uh, on the us and later the price moved down very aggressively in the current conditions we saw that uh, as a big jolt from opec after the news between the two countries was released we saw also opec to come out with a statement that they are going to increase the oil production and Saudi government is going to support this so it's a bit weird because OPEC increased the price up to 95 during September uh, 28th here so during the end of September so this is very strange however considering that uh, Israel is an oil production from the oil production countries one of the largest as well we saw the price opening up with a big gap here the market was hesitating and yesterday the price filled the gap that was created at the beginning of the week from a technical perspective on a daily chart as i've explained also before it is likely that the price may continue in this way however in the current conditions we are in a completely different situation so we are talking about a war problem we can never know how this war may escalate and it is obvious that the market will speculate with the oil price and uh, how it can develop during the coming days so as a minimum we have to be careful despite the fact that OPEC is increasing the oil production I don't think that we have to sell this right now it's very risky we may see the price that it will move down from a technical perspective but from a fundamental perspective if the situation will not get better then we may see the price to create this move and probably it can test 95 again before we see any other uh, price development from the top here however about all of this analysis that we are going to look at uh, about oil we have to focus only on any news that may come out from the world it is not only related with opec it is related more with the news from uh, the war between these two countries probably any breakout from the top of the structure probably it will create more bullish volume so far we have to be careful because the price may test 87 and it may uh, 
be stuck in this area for a long period of time. On your move above 87 probably will increase the bullish hopes and we may see testing a bigger zone close to 97 before further actions. Also during the previous time before Ukraine and Russia when the war began at the beginning it was a very calm situation the price on oil didn't move too much and later we saw explosive bullish waves that is why I would like for all of you to be very careful with oil everything is related with the war developments and it is not only about the fundamental perspective with OPEC and what may happen from the oil production so i hope you guys enjoyed this analysis this was all for gold and oil today so let's be careful until we see something clearer from uh, the war front i wish you a good day please don't forget to hit the like button and follow thank you bye bye